What's up guys, Russell and Beth with Two Trail Hikers. What you're about to see could have been a major disaster in our home. Screw out. You see the discoloration on the chrome right there? So that thing's been hot. It's still hot right now. To bring you up to speed, we kept getting a faint whiff of something that smelled like electrical burning. That led us up to the laundry area where the dryer was running. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yep. Wow, we could have caught on fire. <gasps> yep, that's how houses burn to the ground right there. I mean, all my years in the fire service, that's how houses burn to the ground. We are extremely lucky. All right, so the end of that wire was damaged where it was in the receptacle, so we went ahead and cut it off and then started to strip the insulation back until we got to nice, clean copper. Once we made it to the point where we didn't see any discoloration in the copper, we knew we would have a good, solid connection when we put our new receptacle in. Once we started making the connections on the receptacle, I decided to go ahead and cut the ends off and just strip all of them and give new surface for everything to make contact. The last thing I want is to have a repeat of this whole issue. So once we got our connections made and ensured everything was tight, we went ahead and put our receptacle back in, Just put our spacers in to space it off the wall to account for the wood trim that we put up, and then we reinstalled our cover. Once our cover was completely installed, it was time to go on and test the circuit with the circuit breaker on. Once the breaker was turned on, we should have 240 plus volts across the two hot leads. So we started out by checking between the ground and one hot lead to ensure we had over 120 on each leg. And we ended up with a perfect voltage reading. Once we tested across both terminals, we showed 247 volts, which is exactly what we need to run the dryer efficiently. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. One thing we didn't show you was actually replacing the cord on the back of the dryer, but that's pretty much common with all dryers. You can replace those when you purchase a new one or swap one out. If you like the video, definitely give us a thumbs up. Please hit the subscribe button and remember, this is why firemen tell you not to leave your dryer running when you leave home.